call this meeting of YK Fiscal Court to order on the 13th day of February 2024 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Helen Deaver to lead us in a prayer and pledge. Our Heavenly Father, please uh, put your arms around this fiscal court tonight as they make uh, rough decisions, uh, some good, some bad, depending on who you are. Uh, bless this county. Take care of the our sick and um, injured people, and uh, just put your arms around us. And uh, we all need an extra hug today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did not do. I was like that. What are you doing here? It's a uh, he, he's doing the back. Back. Before you, you have the minutes of the January twenty third meeting. <coughs> need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion for Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sound? Motion passes. Uh, before you have the bills, claims, papers, and transfers, including the late list. I need a motion to approve both of those. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. I have a point. Second by Michael McKinney. Charlie not here tonight. Any discussion? Second. Second by Bo. I'm sorry. Second by Bo Bennett. Charlie <coughs> Bennett, Judge. He's not here. He should have been. He must have it's a all the. Uh, I see they worked on Center Towns radio tires. Is all of them up running now? No. But they are still working on it. Um, Jason, what was uh, the uh, uniforms for the emergency uniforms for the fire department? I'm just curious. What I was it? buy a set of gear for them. Two, that was two sets, wasn't it? Two sets for B-Round for... Is that what... New, new okay. gear, yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. What nah, stuff's really one of them? About, what, about $3,500 a set? Yes. Yeah. So you no know, further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Okay, now we have this bill for Scotty's. Uh, I'll read the motion and then let's see who will uh, to pay Scotty's $400,000 for the uh, paving of Liberty Road extension. And uh, which will be reimbursed, and to uh, allow Ann to transfer 400000 from EMG emergency savings to account 011110 in grant account 07-1000. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion and also for her to write to be able to write to Jay. Okay. Motion to Larry Murphy. What road is that? Old Liberty Church Road. Okay. Just want to make sure because I'm into in the, on Liberty. Into the <laughs> distillery. <laughs> road into the yeah. distillery. And we'll get that back, correct? Yeah. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Bo Benny. Is there any discussion? What was the leeway on the payment back? Well, I'm going to push them. It could be from two to four weeks. Uh, we have a motion second. Any more discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. You got it. Okay. We need the treasurer's January 2024 financial statement. I think this one we just recognize we got it. Where's 
Where you at, Jason? You always do that one. I'll go make a note. We really acknowledge we got it. I'm actually writing the motion down. Okay. I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Acknowledge I'm sorry. we got it. You have to motion. Second. Second by Bo Ben. Any discussion or questions for a treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like signs? Let's carry. We have the clerks. January 2024 financial report, same situation. Make a motion that we receive. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any discussion? Any discussion? Being none, all folks say aye. Aye. Post like sign? Motion carry. Uh, the second reading of Ordinance 2012-20-911 Policy Amendment on our I was on the pop smoking one. 911 policy. Oh, the 911 policy. Okay, we we done done the Okay, I need a motion to for a second reading. What is that, Judge? Huh? It's an amendment to our 911 policy. Amendment to the 911. You remember last time Justin presented to us, we right. made the first one. You've got a copy I'll make well. a motion. I, I, I got it mixed it's up not. with the uh, procedure on the drugs. Huh? Yeah. You just you know, know, had the first motion by Larry Moore for you. Do you have a second? Yeah. Second. Second by Bo Ben. This is a second read. Is there any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carried. <coughs> That's great to have them this way, and that way we're not digging up and trying to sign them later. Mm -hmm. um, we have the, the sheriff, I thought of, he's not here, but he, you have before you his uh, 2022 oil settlement. And I think that is actually an approval acceptance of that subject to audit i guess you'd say you need a motion for that yes so moved larry morphe second second by jason bullock any discussion being none all in favor say aye aye opposed like sign motion carried <coughs> Then you have the Sheriff's 2022 LSG settlement. Now, what does that mean? I guess it's in here. I've got a copy of it. It's right after the oil settlement. And it's from 2022 because they are a year behind yes. working on that. <clears throat> Is that gas? Yes. That's gas. Yes. It is? Yes. Okay. That's gas. I need a motion on it, too. So moved. Larry, more for you. Second. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, need to, the Sheriff 2023 fourth quarter fee, we need to recognize we got it yet. Make the acknowledge that we received the uh, four quarter fees from the sheriff. Okay. A second. All right. Jason Bullock, make the motion. It was second by Michael McKinney. Is there any uh, uh, discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Hit pass. I'm going to sign that. The other two didn't have to be signed? No. Okay. Uh, now the end, we have a presentation for uh, from uh, our jailer, Landon Spurlock. I, hope we, I think most of you have been briefed on this somewhat. Uh, I've emailed all of y'all a copy of our agreements. Do y'all have those tonight? If not, I got a copy I can pass around. Uh, what you have now is our policy and procedure. The, the, the agreements that I emailed probably last week. 
If y'all need these or I look got, over. I've got five. Okay. You know, uh, I was like, Land has been working on this for several months. Yeah, yeah almost, almost, almost a year. Yeah, almost a year uh, we've been working on this. So, I want to break on you too. You really don't. This is going to be, yeah. Uh, uh, and it's a good addition to your. Yeah, and, and Justin, Justin, help me on that. Uh, as far as other counties, our jail inspector helped us on that as well. Uh, what I'm proposing is a nurse, a nurse practitioner, to come to the detention center twice a week, uh, approximately four. Um, can you hear me now? What I'm proposing is that we have a nurse and a nurse practitioner come to our facility twice a week uh, to care for our inmates. Um, that's that's a, that'd be huge for us. It would cut down on the number of times that we have to send inmates out to the hospital or to doctor's appointments. And that's a liability in itself, transporting an inmate out of the facility. Uh, not only do you have to have a deputy go with them to take them out of the jail, uh, but the potential to have them pick something up, drop something off, escape, all those are risks that are involved with that. Uh, also, about every jail in the state has some sort of medical program where they have physicians come to the jail to care for those in need of, of medical treatment. Uh, a lot of our issues that we see on a daily basis is high blood pressure, uh, blood sugar, diabetes, seizures, uh, and then wounds like sores and staph, that kind of thing. Uh, having a nurse come in to check to make sure our meds are getting passed correctly, make sure that uh, these needs are being met to where they're not an emergency, uh, will cut down on our liability for, for lawsuit greatly. Uh, and it also cut down on our hospital bills that we're going sending people out. I know that y'all see these bills weekly. Uh, you know what we're spending. Uh, so it would reduce that over time by several thousand dollars. Um, what we've, I've shopped this around for about a year. Uh, me and the judge spoke with the hospital. They were wanting to get in it over $100,000. Uh, I then met with a correctional medical facility that services Davis County and several other counties around us. They wanted about 76000 so we started coming down. I found a nurse and a nurse practitioner local that will do it uh, for just under $30,000. Uh, so that, I think that's our best route to go. Um, I know I'm leaving some stuff out. I mean, just they would be on. county employees. Yes. They don't have the paperwork to do that part now. Yes. Uh, but we, they will be county employees. They'd be county employees, so they'd be covered under our uh, liability insurance. And but they all, actually, you got to have verification. I saw you, they yes. got to have their own malpractice insurance. Yes, and they're, they're, uh, they've looked into that. I spoke with CACO, I have it in writing, that they will be covered uh, if anything happened at the jail as far as malpractice or anything like that. Yeah, let me ask one question. I think it's changed though, but like, because you're having a nurse practitioner, but can they be out on their own or they used to have years ago when they did practice? Did they have to be under a doctor or has that changed? So as far as I know, that they, they can be on their own. I don't know, Helen, you might be able to correct me. It but it, it's something to do with narcotics. We yeah. don't prescribe narcotics in the jail. That's usually a case-by-case -case basis. And that was Keiko's concern. It was like if with their uh, prescribing narcotics, we won't be able to cover them, but we spoke with uh, Courtney, we spoke with Jamie, uh, and, and we will not be doing narcotics. If we do, we'll have to send them out uh, to a different position. And, and another reason it's such a good idea, it actually keeps us uh, mm. compliant. We, yes. We're our... borderline being, like I hate to throw the word legal out there, but we've been borderline. Yeah, our legal liability uh, will reduce, and Justin, you might go speak on this just by having them show up and have them take care of our problems uh, reduce greatly. Because if we get in a lawsuit, I mean, it's our premium's gonna go up and it's, it's not gonna be good. And they're not out, like you said, at somewhere in the hospital or somewhere where other people are. Oh no, that's that's what we've been doing. I, and, and it's not gonna be, it's not gonna take that away completely. We're still gonna have to go to the hospital in, in case of emergency, yes. But it's gonna but, cut back on it. But this will cut back on that to where they're not out in the public uh, around the general population, uh, hanging out at the hospital, getting medical care for four or five hours, it, and that's what's been happening so far, is I have to pay a deputy to go sit with them. That puts a strain on the jail, puts a strain on me as far as getting people to work, uh, and this will cut down on all that. Uh, so I would imagine we're just taking the one up first, which is the contractual arrangements with with the, if both of these providers uh, policies would be in a separate motion. Yes, yes. 
and then we would get the uh, information just like we do any other county employees first hire. So I did that this week with Rip. Um, it should, I'm not sure if he gave it to y'all or, or not. And do you have any idea? It wasn't. You, you're just going to submit it to Cassidy like you do all okay. the others. Okay. Yeah, we we'll, we'll can do it at the next meeting, but if we get this approved tonight. Yes, sir. But you guys like what you hear? Yeah. I do. I appreciate your work you put into it. That wasn't easy, was it? You, you <laughs> well, I, I did have several help. Justin, he's, he's been more than helpful uh, to me on it. I've reached out to other counties. They've kind of helped me on it. So uh, it's, it's going to be a work in progress, and we're going to have hiccups and stuff, but we're definitely moving in the right direction. And there's potentially savings for the county in this too. Yes, yeah, they're saving tremendously. Okay. Do I hear a motion? So I move. Motion Second. by Larry Morphy. This motion will be the uh, approval of the two contracts as written yes. between these two yes. providers and the Ohio County Detention Center. I'm sorry. Right. Right. Do I hear a second? I'll second, yes. Second with Jackson Bell. Further discussion? Thank you, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Landon's kept me briefed on it, all the steps he's been through, and his personnel. I know he's worked. Uh, like I said, I know I know the thoughts gone into it yet, and just come out and decided uh, uh, want to do it all. So been working on a lot. Brandon, we need to call. Yeah. Bennett. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Cassidy. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Mechanic. Yes. Bullock. Yes. You got to get the contracts in we'll do that part or does she have them? uh i have i have a copy here uh, okay. i can turn them in and then the next would be the pulsing procedure that we'd have to yeah, yeah. and i haven't gave a copy to everyone that that and then the actual information to do the hiring yes sir thank you we'll, we'll take care of all that you want me to sign that now i will yes i can well, so we, so we need the separate motion for the yeah. policy, policy for the policies and procedures we in all likelihood, uh, Landon, he's been really working hard about the overall policy, and so there may be additional policies. Uh, this is why we're working on the medical care. Correct me if I'm wrong, Landon. We wanted to also update the policy, and, and he's done a good job with that and getting that get, getting that to us. Yeah, I've been working on that for the last year. Mm -hmm. I've been sending it to our jail inspector to look over, but once that's complete, I'll present that to y'all. Do so. This is medical uh, policies and procedures for jail. This is for the intake and then for the for kind of more of a standard for the uh, practitioners to, to go by with go respect by. to their treatment. Yeah, but it's not for it. so, so we, we make the motion to accept the policy procedures you will do. Yeah. Yes. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Hey, uh, Justin, mm -hmm. can we, did you, you guys type this up? Uh, I would imagine. We don't have a signature line here if we can redo it. Well, it's probably on our pop on ours. It had one, so we can, okay, put, the, okay. we can put the signature. Okay. Well, it, it's done deal anyway. Let's hand it back to them. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the email. Yeah, the, 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 what a, no, it was in the email. Okay, so we'll get we'll get just you one with the signature. Landon probably has the drafts. Okay. That we have. okay, this oh. is what we just now. Did. No, sir. That that's the uh, that's the same agreement as this. Oh. So I need that back in. In the same. And, okay, we have, we have both of you. Uh, we have motion second on policy and procedures. Who made the motion? Who made the motion? I did. Michael seconded. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we were down here talking. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Please visit. Thank, Thank you, Landon. Okay, is there any further discussion? Being none, all favor say aye. Aye. Folks like sign? That motion carries. Jason, you're up. And, and go ahead and tell about that we did open the bids earlier. Well, we got to skip Jody. Is she here? Is she on there? Yeah, she's right there with her heart all over. She's already. I don't care to go. No, let's let, let, let Jody go first. You brought your. Thank you. It's been a hard time getting here between weather and everything else, and then we skipped me. <laughs> So before you, I just gave you a little packet. The back two pages, front and back. 
The first one is your 2023. That's the festival report that I give to the board and wanted to present to you. That's actually everything that goes into the festival with all the expenses. And the comparison is on the back for 2022. So I basically broke it down. We had a good year. Um, I really think, unfortunately, I can't tell you exact number of attendees. Our front gate gets messed up a lot, but I have corrected that. We are actually hiring two people this year to just stay at the front gate as the volunteers come and go and exchange and stuff because it's just too difficult when too many people are down there. So um, on your comparison sheet in the beginning, on the first page, the income from 22 was at 33 plus. And for 23, we went to 42,993. That does encompass um, the gates and sponsors. Uh, this year we did a cakewalk, that was a big hit. Um, we had a tour bus come in, that was $1,000. So we had things happen. The ticket sales online for 2022 was 118, and 23 was 323. It is more than that, but as I mentioned, the gate gets messed up they um, didn't know how to work it. <laughs> so another reason we're hiring someone to get down there and do it because they didn't record everybody that paid online. The online take-in though was 13,000 plus in 22 and jumped to 17 this year. The gate did 9,787 in 2023, it up by 10,171. Our sponsors, are around 5,000 for 22 and they were up to 8.4 this year or last year. So um, sponsorship is something that we continually work on and still need to do more on it. The expenses overall in 22 were 60,756. In uh, 2023 they were 62,546. Expenses did go up like the golf carts, the porta potties, all the things that we did just normal with um, everything else that went up. So did that, including the bands and everything. So this year, um, what we've done different is we did increase the price, price of the ticket because as I just said, everything went up, but they were still operating on a 2001 ticket price. So we are raising the tickets this year. Not by much, but we're raising it a little bit. There's a fantastic special going on right now until the end of March, and I've advertised it all over. That gives a good ticket break. And then, um, of course, Ohio County still gets in half price, and they'll be, we'll be running a summer special, too. Anecdotally, I can almost say that I, I believe that the attendance almost three-fourths doubled. It wasn't quite double, but there were a lot of folks there this year. Your free Thursday that we offer increased from 85 people to 93. So we're still getting some Ohio County people out there would love more to experience it. In fact, this year, it's always on Thursday. And this year, the fellow that's got the uh, stage for the main event of the evening is the Cody Norris Show. And um, for the Bluegrass World, he was nominated for eight awards and they received seven of them. He's big time. And we locked him in last year and I'm really glad because as of that night, his price went true, but he's locked in for us on Thursday for this year. Yeah, he, he's, so he's been, been he's pretty big. big. Yeah, he's going to be got big. He's got a huge hit song called Fiddler's Rock. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do what? He's got a huge hit song called oh. Fiddler's Rock. Mm -hmm. And I call her Sunshine One, too, for song of the year. And Cody Dollars is going to finish out Thursday. Yes, yep. Yeah. yeah, so if you're planning on coming, come up there on that Thursday. It's, it's, he's really going to be good. As we look ahead, um, 2024, our bands are already uh, selected. I've got to put them on the time schedule and get that all arranged. But take a look at that bottom there. We started ticket sales. We advertised at the festival, and we started a early bird special with uh, the lowest prices that would be for the year. And then we um, have done some other things. So ticket sales to date, um, I pulled that off this morning are at 18,845. So if you look up to last year online, last year all year we did 17,000. So I'm looking forward to a big year this year. We're already over $1,000 more, well actually 1,500 more, and um, the, that is involved in 117 tickets. So that's always hard to say because 
you can say ticket sold, but like if I sell Jason one ticket and he's coming for four <laughs> days, that's a four day ticket, but I can only count him for one day. So your attendees, he'd be four for attendance, but he's one for a ticket. <laughs> so that's what that is when the attendees are at 312. So I appreciate all your support that you do give us. Um, Larry's got a banner hanging in his garage from the magistrates that contributed. It says your local um, Ohio County magistrates and, oh, no, it says Ohio County elected officials support bluegrass, and uh, I really appreciate that. So, do you have any questions? Uh, is, the, is the foundation st uh, strong to be able to go ahead and get the next one pulled off? This one, 24? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I don't, um, we need more sponsors. We, you know, have to go out and hit <clears throat> sponsors hard, but I'm confident that we'll be okay this year too. But the bills will be paid with what you got now. Yes. And if you, if you look at that first sheet on um, 2021, we're, we're still in the red, it's true. But in 22, we were uh, 27,500 27, in the red. And last year, we were only at 19,000. So to me, that's good. You're still in the red, but you're not as much in the red. So if that continues, we'll eventually get out of there. How much do you have in the bank now? It don't say on this. Our, for, our, for the festival account, the festival account has 57000 in it. 57000 <coughs> What is the tourism grant on the... Is that something we can get every year? I know it's the tourism No, it was ARPA money, basically. I wrote three grants last year. Okay. There was a EDA grant that I put several marketing dollars into it. And an uh, ARPA grant, the first batch, <coughs> was... Uh, I put several dollars into it. The billboard that you see... Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> Well, that, that's not on this report, the Rosine billboard, that was part of that grant. But the one that going towards Owensboro, and I'll be changing that this year and the foundation's gonna pick it up because the grant's so done. the grant paid that? Yeah, the grant paid both those. Well, it paid that one, the festival one, but the other one, tourism and some other entities paid the second year. But we're gonna have that up again this year. We're, we're in the process of changing it. Owensboro does a real big weekend coming up on March 21st or 16th, and I want to have it up by then because it does capture people going to Owensboro. That's why that 6,000 is not figured in, in any of those figures. That's how the parentheses are around it because um, that was money that tourism put in. Yeah. I couldn't remember what grant that was, if there's something we could get. You know, yeah, no. Get it was ARPA money and EDA. I wish. I'll tell you what hinders me for grant writing. I, I, Connie's part time. They always like all the money that you'll see that ad on TV. You can still get money, but you have to have five employees. We don't have them. I don't have them. It's me and Connie part time. So a lot of them are based on how many employees you have. So. Can you pay the uh, board? <laughs> A dollar every meeting, the salary, you know, a month, the yeah. salary. <laughs> and the court guys, in case you didn't know, you have to, we have two court members on the Jerusalem Bridge Board. Yep. You get a dollar a meeting, that may be our salary, $12 annual salary. <laughs> That's right. We don't have to work around. Yeah. But you do labor up there too, no. so <laughs> I can't even include your labor. Yeah. <laughs> Bring Larry a box of cookies every May, and he'll be a lot happier. Yeah. Right, Larry? Right. Well, this is the festival report, uh, report, but obviously the Bill Monroe Home Place is your building. And um, if, you have, if you haven't been aware, we did hire a new caretaker, uh, Robin Hayes. She got, she got married last year at the festival on Thursday night. It was very cool. And she married a, a bluegrass guy, so they're living up there, and they have the heart for it. So I, I'm really looking forward to all the many things that they can do. And Robin has lots of good contacts and things. Um, we're already talking about putting together a songwriters, uh, what would you call it, just a workshop, a songwriters workshop. And when I was in Nashville at the Spigma, um, three pretty big names of bluegrass are willing to just come up here and, and do the songwriters thing. Yeah. So it's. It's uh, it's growing, but the foundation. The guy that wrote Highway 40 Blues, it was such a big hit for uh, uh, for uh, Rich Gags. Yep. He's uh, one of them that was very kind. Yeah. So. 
Okay. But anyway, thanks a bunch. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, at this point, just because we'd asked some questions about the uh, uh, funding grant, I'm going to go off schedule just a little bit here. We'll get back on track in a minute. I'm going to let Miranda tell you about a big grant she just landed. Uh, we got a cybersecurity grant to replace our server, all our computers, get new antivirus, laptops, all of the above across most of our county government. So it's for $122,250. We'll be working on that this year. That'll really help us. Yeah, that's not a match, right? No, it's not, not a match. Not it's, a match. Uh, it was greatly needed according to our IT department. So uh, we had a lot of people still on Windows 7 or before. So, <laughs> much needed. We're, we're trying to uh, Now, Jason, you're up. All right. The road committee met today at 4 o'clock in uh, the road format. And we uh, advertised for bids for a road widener. You drove it out Davis Road. You realize what, what it's done. And we use it there, tried it out. So we advertised for bids. The bids came in. We had two bids. Uh, but only one bid met the uh, specs that we sent out that had to be a new uh, new piece of machinery. So I'm going to make a motion that we accept um, Boyd's bid for $69,900 uh, for a 2023 CAT road widener and allow Treasurer Ann Melton to write the check. And do you need a uh, motion to transfer from... And allow her to uh, make a transfer from savings into the general fund. The road fund. In the road fund. Yeah. I, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we're good with the 23, right? I know we're in 24. I'm just checking. We're good with the 23. Yeah. Yes, Brandon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Not, oh, I know sometimes. Because the other one was like three. You, 24 you, if you're in 24 no, yeah, and then yeah, make, I, Okay. I'm just checking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Do we get a motion second? And I have a second motion too, but let's go ahead and make a motion Did on anybody it. second your motion on that? I'll second. Okay, both been second. Let's go ahead and vote on that one first. Okay. No. All favor say aye. Uh, let's make it another motion uh, that the court replace the $69,900 back into savings before anything else is bought out of needs assessment or surplus money in July of 2024. Is that worded it well? No, no, yeah, I'll make a motion. Before anything else is used out of needs assessment or bought, second. we replace this money. That was second by Larry Morphy. Okay. Any discussion or questions for what Jason means? Being none, I'll say aye. 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 Post like sign. Hold your carries. Yeah, go ahead and uh, run those, uh, <coughs> that motion that you made. Get all your wording right on. Okay. 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 And, J and Jason actually wrote it down for you, read it out there. Yeah. Okay. You want that? We have a. No, I got it. Okay. Oh. I've got it you. Michael has a water line, but just on the list. It's not, you know, just get it on the water line list. It's Tucker Holler, and it's going to be $64,258. And Michael, you on a motion, just add, make a motion, just add it to the list. Well, there's a Tucker Holler road on the list. We that already done? It was added December 17th of 2019 at 19150 So is this? Oh, it's, it's changed. Okay, it's already on the list. Okay, I guess all it does is give you this Updated quote and now. update the price. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's the price of the goods? Sixty-four thousand now, but pretty much with inflation, that's pretty much it. How many does it serve? How long is it? it, it it's right. It's not. It's on the list right now. It's just a few people. Is it five? I think it's a total of seven. Yeah. Seven. But that's why it's going on the list. We're going, we're going to have a meeting next month to reassess, re, re prioritize all of our water line lists. 
And matter of fact, we'll probably take some off. We've got some on there that's been for many years, and uh, we haven't done them, or somebody else has already done them. Some of them have been done by the cities already. Could you give us the measurements again, David? Oh, oh they're in your packet. I get ready to copy of the specs on there. 4100. 4100. Okay. And what was the total again? 64,000. Give me the water down. What? Rochester Dam. Okay. Uh, I want to point at this time Lee Hyder to. Uh, serve on the Rochester Dam Committee uh, or board and uh, he is to replace a, a person that was there from Purdue before the left and since Purdue has a water plant they have a, a they have a, a spot on there so I put Lee Heiner I need a roll call only. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Moreview? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. You get that to them if you don't mind. I'll get to Charlie and he'll take it in. We done the committee reports. We done had the road committee. Did you have anything else from the road committee? Uh, no. I, I do want to schedule a, uh, a wage scale committee meeting before the next. Uh, okay. Four o'clock or? Four o'clock. Yeah. Is that for everybody? Uh -huh. I believe that's kind of bad. Uh, uh, <coughs> that I think everybody a, can uh, attend any yeah, meeting. Right. The scale committee is me and uh, following and myself, and uh, but yeah, it's always open. That's why we right. It's open to everybody. But actually, Bo and, and uh, Jason and Ann and uh, uh, Jason uh, Jason Burden and uh, uh, Cassidy. Okay, let's consider that done. You make you a note to put it out there, okay? Okay. Uh, we have a letter here from the uh, school project graduation that we always, uh, they've changed the name of it, Senior Sunset. And they're asking for uh, contribution from us for that uh, in the past we usually give a hundred dollars each each magistrate and I give them a hundred apiece makes them six hundred dollars yeah I'll give I'm good yeah everybody good I'm sure Kenneth will be <coughs> so and if Let's you want to put that on Kenneth the bill for the need. next meeting I'll just put it on the bill list the next that's meeting. what I said yeah. we'll spend this money for it does Kenneth have enough money? Yeah. Does um, it look bad if he doesn't? Is, is there any other committee? Any other committee reports? Uh, who, who made that motion? We, we did. Each one just said. Can put I have a motion? No, she's going to put on bills to make the committee. Yeah. It'll okay. have to put it next it's, to It's discretionary. Yeah. It yeah. won't require a motion. Um, the uh, any more committee report? Uh, Jason, has your uh, mental health met lately? They meet um, each each month. I didn't go to the last meeting, but they meet yeah monthly, right. which is not. It's actually now through it's the, the health coalition. Health coalition is kind of we all meet. Oh, you went in with the health coalition. We, we meet with the health coalition once a month, and they have luncheon. Okay. And speakers. Well, it's yeah. the, well, that's good. Third that's good. Thursday? I think so. All right. We're ready for the magistrate's uh, comments, and we'll start on uh, on the 5th District this time. I don't have anything good. Okay, third. Uh, yeah, um, the fire department. <coughs> Post two, they're needing a washing machine, so we had a couple of firefighters show up today. Uh, Michael and I are gonna uh, help contribute to that if you'd like to as well. How much? 
5,000. 35,000? Yeah. Well, are y'all going to do one a piece? One eight thousand a piece? We, I mean, we were, we were How many teams are you going to We're going to try to help them buy it. Well, we just put in for a third then. Okay. Would you like a motion? I don't think we have to on that either. No, just put it on bill discretion. Yeah. Did they get the bill to aim <coughs> and yeah. have it put on the claim? So it's going to be third? Michael yeah. Michael Ball and the Chavish. Right. Yeah, that's actually the district. district. Covers a lot of people in the no, first no, district. No. It's the station we started 12 years ago. You know, it's in between. Yeah, uh, no, no, that is the way it normally is done. It's our discretionary fund. Yeah. Larry pretty much uh, does Cromwell and Rosine. Our business discretionary money is pretty yeah. much. Not to speak out of turn, but we had spoke with the fire association, and they were not going to contribute any. And David had asked us to always run things through them first, and they're not going to help. But their washing machine they had is broken. They were using the one here at the, yeah. at the other station. They're having to come back and forth. Yeah, I'd like it to go to the fire, uh, fighters association first, and them to kind of look around in other departments and see if there's a surplus somewhere. And to look at the need, and, and uh, guys, y'all are in the management of the fire department. I always challenge you to uh, work as much as you can with the countywide organization, so that you know we can all move forward. And uh, that be that be great. Attend the meetings and all that. Okay. Thanks for coming. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it for the third district. Jason. I'm fine, thank you. Mike. I'm just to make sure that the, the Tucker Hauler is updated. I mean, I know that you're going to do that. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was on there. Well, I, yeah, I was told it wasn't on there. We, I, we went out and redid the measuring. And yeah, well, I tell you what, it actually may have changed. That it may it be did. going by the We don't have, have a printout up there. It was 2500 and you yeah. said it was 4200 We have, We have uh, yeah. two. I know there's two more dwellings. Yeah. That, that it's sixty-four thousand names. the other to live. But we're you know, we're not PO'ing it right now. But in uh in the month of March we're gonna have a we got we got this other meeting before the court meeting next time. But the first one in March we'll have a uh, water line committee meeting both and we'll look at all those water lines. Anything else guys? Twenty thousand. Anybody in the audience have anything for the good of the body? Hello. I just want to thank you uh, for the first responder dinner the other night. It was very much appreciated. And uh, I speak on behalf of Comcare, our, our employees. And uh, we all had a wonderful time, the ones that showed up. And I just want to appreciate it. Thank you all. Let you know how much we appreciate it. It was we nice. It. We appreciate you. <laughs> and many years of service. <laughs> Mayor Pukwe, you got anything? No, not right now. Councilman, I'm really glad y'all are here. You be sure to coordinate with us on anything. Uh, uh, Lawrenceville is part of the county, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we want, we want your input and, and uh, all that. If there's nothing else, this meeting stands adjourned. I didn't realize that.